and video. It's happening. Just start smiling. Nice. Oh man. Don't seem to mute whatever you got going. Yeah, you gotta you gotta mute the stream. You can just watch it. And we're live. <laughs> we're on, guys. <laughs> oh, big beetle. Welcome. There's big beetle. Hi. Oh, hurt my cheeks. Oh, that's crazy. All right, Roshi, go. Hey, hi guys, and welcome to our podcast. The first one for Wildstar. The first live one, that is. Some people got their little main podcast and such. But we're here first. Um, this will be the first of many vodcasts, but start off, we're going to introduce ourselves, and we'll start off with Blank Space. Oh, I guess we're going to start off with Blank Space. Um, I've been playing games as far back as Breakout for Atari. Uh, I have a long, extensive, professional, competitive background that is boring. And it stinks of EPN. So if you want to read some more about it, you can head over to subterfugegaming.com and check it out. In real life, I'm a disabled veteran who spends most of his time between doctor's appointments, raising my epic two-year-old daughter, playing video games, and streaming. And I fit in a girlfriend in there, too. I am the division leader subterfuge vanguard. I guess it means I'm the boss man, but it really means that I put a lot of pressure on myself to make sure things move smoothly around here. And just to get any of the organization stuff out of the way, um, we're setting up our own kind of niche setup where we're going to have hardcore players and we're going to bring along our friends and family and have a good little community of people to go rock on and Wildstar. That's me. And Beetle, introduce yourself to the followers. Hey guys, uh, thanks for checking out the podcast. I'm Beetle, Santa Claus, Viking guy, Finnish, that happens. Um been a gamer for a long time i used to uh sprint home from elementary school with my buddy to play diablo on dial up good times um went to school for game design i have a degree in game design and development and now i'm doing a little bit of qa in the industry and i am the leader of subterfuge gaming and our division is subterfuge vanguard for wildstar which blank is heading up And how about you, Atomics? You'd like to give us a brief introduction. Comics, they can't hear you. Ah, crap. Oh, man down. Man down, my button got stuck. Meanwhile, look at my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what up? That. Just, right, just gonna sound now? You know he's gonna one-up you now. Yep. There it is. I'm just gonna let you know that when it comes to shirts, it's where it's at, right here. Cut, cut yep. the stream. Yep, no there stream. it is. <laughs> thanks, thanks for stopping by, everybody. Um... You good now, Atomics? Still can't hear you. Still can't hear you. Man down. Yeah, I, I think they're oh. saying you cut out. Did you hear him in the beginning, uh, guys? I turned my fucking push to talk off. Shitty ass thing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the first live podcast, and this is why this is not as fun as a podcast, because you is can't why... erase this shit. <laughs> this is why this is episode zero. <laughs> yeah, you'll never see this again. Uh, anyways, um, I've been, uh, I've been uh, gaming for 30 plus years. Um, all the way from Atari up to uh, everything that's come out now. <laughs> what the hell? Troy said I had a party mouth. Oh, I keep on my best shocked face. Well, you know, it's blank. Uh, pretty much played or tested every MMO that's been on the market. Uh, currently waiting on Wildstar. That's pretty much my history briefly. Uh, with Subterfuge Gaming, I am the Community Projects Manager, so I put together things like 
the podcast as well as a, our upcoming blog for Wildstar and anything else we uh, come up in the near future. And before before Roshi goes, Troy, you can't tell me you don't walk into the office and don't hear a couple f bombs just about every day. I bet the other day when you guys went put out those beta invites, I bet there was a lot of a lot of stuff happening. So we'll try <laughs> to keep it down, though. That's for sure. All right, Roshi. Yeah, I'm a Roshi. Uh, I've been gaming as long as Atomics. Uh, my first gaming device was the old Atari, and when it came with wood consoles, you know they weren't made out of wood back then. Uh, and I played pretty much every MMO since they've come out. I was a big Eve Online player. I was boring Care Bear in it, but I uh, have reformed. Uh, I used to run World Reward and PTX with Blank Space, and that's where you know I got myself blooded and gone to the PvP world. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. Um, as we get started, the rest of this. All right, I'm going to take control of this because we all know I'm the one that sits and talks about all sorts of stuff, yeah. anyways. All right, here we so, go. But we just know that Blake's the one who can't shut up, so. Okay. <laughs> Once I get going, um, first things first, um, can one of you guys post the link? Um, those of you who are looking for beta information, we has none. Um, what we do have for you is a link so that you can sign up for the beta. And what we will do is recommend you to the best place outside of Nexus, and that's wildstar-central.com. Both of those links will be in the chat. And a lot of great discussions going on in the forums. There's an IRC chat. Recommend checking them both out. And uh, we did have some information that was put out about what you need to or what would be best to have in your computer for uh, helping out in beta. And that's an Intel Pentium Core 2. Duo 2.4 gigahertz, or an AMD Phenom X3 2.3 gigahertz or better, at least four uh, gigabytes of RAM. You want an NVIDIA 8800 GT or an ATI Radeon 3850 or better, and Windows XP SP2 64-bit 32-bit uh, systems are not going to be supported during the beta. You want a good computer? Yeah, you, you kind of want. Yeah, that. yeah, I really want them. Is that what you're trying to get at? Yeah, it's something in the last five years. Better than a compact Presario. <laughs> better than the old wooden Atari. So uh, the next uh, topic we have to discuss is why we like Wildstar. Um, there's lots to like, and uh, I guess I'll just kind of throw it out there. Who wants to talk first? What what really you know is exciting for you about Wildstar? What are you really looking forward to? What do you find unique? You know, go for it, guys. I can go. I'll skip in. Or you want to go with Tom's? Sure, I guess I can go first. Well, the big thing that, that draw me, drew me into Wildstar was the war plots. That was the big thing right there. I was a huge, huge fan of Shadowbane when that game first came out. And that brings back a lot of memories of that game. You know, guild v. Guild, having, you know, your own basically basic home to defend. And uh, that's something that really drew me into it. I'm a huge PvP guy, you know. So, uh, one thing I'm looking for. I'm also really interested in the uh, in the whole uh, system of you know the settlers and explorers, and uh, getting deeper into that and seeing where they take that and how that ties into other systems like down the road. All right. Um, I'm really I'm a big art guy. And going through their concept art page was one of the cooler things for me because this the whole style of it, it's not really held down by lore like other games are. Like you can make something that's walking around with an axe lodging its back still. It's got arrows in it. And uh, that's one of the – yeah, exactly. The concept art is just awesome. It's just got such a good uh, flow to it. If you look at a lot of the creatures, the way their spines are shaped and stuff, it's just not – it's not realistic and it gives a character. And uh, I really like that the fact that they're not held down by that lore because I don't know if anybody else has really noticed in that respect and how they're so creative. We can have, like, possibly anything for mounts. If you think, like, these guys can be like, oh, yeah, we can create a giant football player dinosaur. Why don't we make his younger brother a mount and you ride on his back with a chair? Like, they can do anything like that, and it's going to be really interesting. Roshi, how about you? Yeah, for me, it was the. It wasn't on my radar until going to PAX East and all my friends are talking about it. When I got sat down to speak to the devs, it was just sheer enthusiasm. You know, we, 
the network was down when I tried to play at PAX, and the dev I was speaking to was like a little boy, and his toy was broken. He's bouncing up and down, and for that, it was just, you know, it was refreshing to see devs who, you know, not saying other devs aren't, but they were so into this game. It was like their little child, personally. And then to find out they're going to launch this game with, you know, an end game to it. So many MMOs I've played recently, you work away to cap and a few days get there and what do you do next? There's nothing. And so yeah, the war plots, the raids, the whole adventure stuff, content coming out on a regular basis. All that grabbed my attention. It's like old school MMOs again. Nice. Can you guys hear me? I muted and unmuted. I was typing Yeah, we can up. hear you. You guys hear right. blank on the stream? And, yeah, can you guys hear me on the so? stream? Just say no. Yeah, you're good in the stream. Yeah. All right. So, um, just want to let you guys know that um, the next little thing I'm going to give away before I start my long uh, monologue about what excites me about this game, um, you are able to put this code in for both North American and Eastern uh, uh, European for Riot. Jeez. So there's a bunch of these that are going to go out. First come, first serve. I uh, hope you enjoy them. While, we, like I said, while we can't play Wildstar. You know, we still play other games together, and uh, as part of my stream, we like to give a lot of stuff away. So, with that being said, enjoy Riot Ramus. What do I like about Wildstar? I could sit here and talk about war plots and just how an amazing concept that is. We could talk about having your own house and the psychology of having a house and having parties and throwing a party and people coming over and coming to ha hang out and help you with your plugins or just the versatility of all of those things, uh, breakout combat. But the biggest thing for me, honestly, is nostalgia. I think back to my old MMO games when I was hardcore and competitive. I got to play with like-minded people who were a lot of fun. A lot of games come out. And you try them, you play them, you only play for a little bit, a couple months, and then unless you play the game casually for fun, you kind of put it back on the shelf. I went to PAX, and a bunch of the guys from S SVG were like, listen, this is awesome, you want to check it out. And we've been there before. A lot of us have sat down with developers, we've talked to them, we've made friendships, and we've seen things go just one way or the other. Getting to see how much these guys care about their game, um, the amount of work that they're putting in, just, I was like, wow, if I could put that same sort of effort into, you know, playing with my friends and doing this in a new game, this sounds like a ton of fun. And all of a sudden, I was excited for Vanilla WoW or Raiding in BC when things were changing and awesome because there's so much that could happen. And the developers really listened to the community. And just a side note about the community, so far, it's been amazing. Um, SVG, we hang out on the IRC a lot. We're in the forums uh, over at Wildstar Central. And it's just, it's refreshing to sit down with a community that's growing and see a community that polices itself, that you know really does care about everyone else. Um, opinions are discussed, and it's not like, you suck, you're dumb, it's like, oh, that's cool. Well, what about this? So that's, I mean, that's really the biggest draw for me. Yeah, there's there's very few there's very few communities that even going back to Wildstar Central and their introduction forum with all these new people coming on for the beta and saying, hey, I'm new around here. There's very few forums you can go to that have intro forums that have 10 or 12 replies on them saying like, hey, man, welcome. We're glad you're interested in the game, that kind of stuff. And the fact that, was it, like 7.15 West Coast and Troy's hanging, even if it is his job, and Zap's here, and just people just generally liking the game and loving the community. It's uh, really cool to see. Anyone else want to talk about that real quick? Or you want to move on? You can move. All right. Um, we're going to move on here. Let's see if there's anything... Um, Nothing really big. Um, well, we thank you guys for stopping what we're all by. About. Yeah, I, I do want to say thanks for stopping by. Make sure to follow. There's a bunch of Twitter and social media stuff to go check out. Um, we are going to be doing these regularly. Like we said, we are the first um, live uh, video cast of the game. And uh, 
you know, we're going to be pumping out some content to you guys um, as frequently as we can. So, next, what is this podcast going to be about? And Beetle is going to uh, talk about that a little bit while I yes. type up another free thing. Yeah, so try to pay attention to me while you're waiting for that code to put in right away. <laughs> um, so, hot, basically, yeah, this is, this is a live podcast called Late Night Dominion. We're trying to go for kind of a talk show type, and that's why we like to do it live is because we have you guys in the chat right here, and I can say, like, yeah, Chrono Time, you need more beer. Go get some. And, like, we want it to be about news. It's not Old Dominion. We just came up with the name. We are going to be going Dominion, stuff like that. But it's all about, you know, interacting with you guys in here and uh, talking about updates, talking about news, getting your guys' take on it, and then we can feed off of that even. So that's just a little sum up. Also, once me? the game goes live as well, we're going to be planning to you know, broadcast some of our raids, some of our plot stuff here as well. You know, try and get more people involved in the game and show what it's like. For now, you just have to hear us talk about stuff as we hear it. And one of the things that's exciting about a not super scripted um, live uh, video cast like this is um, oh, see, exactly. Honestly, typing something like that. Like, I guess I need to make a late night exiles. Absolutely, or you know what? Feel free to come along one night, and we'll sit down and we'll talk about why Dominion's better than Exile. That is the difference. You get to interact with your audience, and it's a ton of fun. Um, It'd be long blank, you know, why Dominion's better than Exile's, and it could take like a couple of minutes. Pretty yeah, there's a short list. There, I mean, there's nicer houses. It's cleaner in the Dominion. Um, you know, it's just easy stuff mostly. And so that conversation's over. You don't actually need to come on the show. Thanks. And uh, I did want to respond to, to G Perks here. Um, we did do kind of a beta discussion. We're not going to talk about beta at all, except uh, if you scroll up, there is a link. I, we probably get it posted again. And um, we do have a place, um, wildstar-central.com, where we hang out on the forums. We talk with uh, friends and other community members. There's lots of great articles. It's a great place to sit down and uh, get to know everybody. So, you know, that, that's what we have to say about uh, beta and uh, where you should definitely congregate. It's a great place. So and while I'm saying that, I'm going to um, – you guys can have a little Riot Graves. Man, I got that. And, and each week we'll try and bring you, you know, what the latest news is, and we'll most likely be focusing on that. And each week we're going to, you know, focus each show – on whatever the latest topics are. Uh, if nothing's come out, we're going to go back to topics that we haven't talked to yet since stuff has come out before we started. We're going to go over those. Um, our first topic show will likely be housing next week. Um, we're going to go get deep into our thoughts and uh, things that we, we can change, things we, we, we love. Um, anything else we, you know, we want to talk about housing? And um, can, that's awesome, Yanni. I'm, I'm glad you got a ride, Graves. And right now, it is, uh, yeah, um, vodka and uh, orange soda. We have one more thing that we're going to talk about after this. But before we do that, if anybody in chat wanted to throw out discussions that they wanted to um, discuss, they wanted to talk about, wanted to get our opinions on, I mean, again, if it's about exiles, more than likely it's going to be really short. We're taking <laughs> applications for you guys to clean up you know, our houses. We're to, you know, you can be our housemaids. I guess for, I guess Nixus will t let you in his house. You can't come in my house. You got to stay outside. But if you guys have some stuff that you want to talk about or that you'd like to get our opinions on, go ahead and throw it in chat. Oh man, where can we get one of those t-shirts? Uh, those were Pax t-shirts. Uh, go on eBay. I guarantee there's one up on there. Just and it's got a it's got a girl on it with a with a gun. It's very detailed. It's orange. Um, Blank's kind of ruining it. Dude, I, I'm just – well, because I have that shirt, but then I also have, you know, I got this oh, shirt. Oh, that one's way – but hang on. What size is that? Is that big man <laughs> size? Uh, actually, I got a, sh a sh medium. Oh, sh mediums. I haven't worn a sh medium since I was in – I haven't worn a sh medium since I was in, like, fifth grade, dog. All right. So class talent trees, alliances. Alliances? Hmm. 
there was a new thing put up on alliances today, I believe, by warplots.com, setting up something where um, war parties can become alliances between two guilds, helping each other out, stuff like that. Um, I believe it was warplots.com. You may be able to click a button there for alliances. And I think war parties will be fairly on the go. Troy could probably correct me on it. But I don't. I think war parties are separate from guilds. Go ahead. Um, Troy just said he's going to hand out some t-shirts. Would you? Go ahead and keep talking about that. I will figure out how we will do that giveaway. Yeah, sure. Um, And like I was saying, I think war parties are separate from guilds in the fact that you will be on on the fly, be able to create a war party. Um, Say guild Umbra is looking to make one. Since Mianhe is in here, I'll say TL. And they they both have uh, you know fifteen people apiece on that night, and they're looking for thirty at least to do their war plot. I believe you can make a war party on the fly with that, and using warplots.com, I believe you can set those up once you're signed up. If that helps. Gatty Cat was asking about the Holy Trinity and the difficulty finding healers and tanks. The difficulty of finding them, because there will be dedicated healers and tanks in this game. It's also, from what I was told by one of the devs at PAX East, that each class will have two roles. One's going to be support, and one's going to be DPS. So even if you turn up set for DPS, you if you got like a tank side to your class, you'd be able to switch to that. Not sure how often you'd be able to do that. Yeah. So and like all other uh, guilds and games with holy trinities become best friends with every healer you see, basically. <laughs> because, I mean, there has been the trend in games where it's been few and far between where you actually get people who like to heal. I know we have a couple in SVG, but um, there may be more people liking to heal now with the healing telegraphs that healers are going to be able to do. Makes healing a little more action-oriented and actually making you feel like you're part of the combat, I guess. Somebody had asked, um, will there be PvP Arena? And that answer is yes. And that will be, you'll be able to access that at Elder Game. 2v2, 3v3, 5v5, question mark? Yes. There we go. Um, Someone had asked, how often are we going to be doing this? This is going to be a weekly, weekly, correct me if I'm wrong? Yeah, weekly. It's going to be a weekly thing that we do. And uh, again, we're going to have a loose, you know, setup for things to talk about. However, a big part of doing a live video cast is having people in chat that we can talk with, discuss things. Um, we don't want it to be super structured. We want it to be fun. We want it to be interactive with you guys uh, because we love uh, being a part of the community and taking in as much as you guys. I mean, taking in. Um, this is why being live sucks. We'd like to eat most of you. And, <laughs> um, I'm very yeah. hungry a lot. I have a weight problem. Um, Guild Umber is wondering, and I heard saw this earlier, looking for rotation of guests. Um, we, we, uh, you can tweet right at us if you're looking to. We could do a PM situation. Um, you can PM any of us on Wildstar Central. You'll see us around. And... Just any way that we don't have a set up email for it right now, but we're really approachable. And you're like, hey, I'd like to talk about this with you guys next week. As long as you have a stable internet connection and you have an awesome bandana, mostly, um, that I shouldn't see any problem with getting some guests on here. And, uh, one of his t shirts. But have one of his t shirts. Yeah, you have to have a cool t shirt, apparently, too. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think what we're going to do is um, our gracious. A carbine employee that's here. We can definitely have Jeremy on um, as long as he brings the drinks. I'm pretty sure last time we brought the drinks. I'm just, I'm not really sure who brought the drinks or to who. It was kind of a mix, but um, we would, be we would to have absolutely the gaff love on to have him on. The gaff. As long as I can call him the gaff, is that a, <laughs> is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know, we love to call him the gaff. Um. <laughs> Look at that question. That's the best thing ever. Um, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to take everybody's name that's in Twitch chat right now, and we're going to put it into a randomizer and take the top five people out of that list. 
and we're going to hook up with uh, Carbine Aether or Troy and uh, figure out how to connect you folks together. So, oh, Who's someone wanna... said they're going to do that list. So uh, it's being worked on right now. Make sure, you know, if you've got uh, some voodoo, something lucky you want to go rub, like, go go do it now. Uh, you could rub Beetle's beard, I guess. <laughs> You're talking about That'll the be a long beard. reach. I know that the girlfriend hates it, but I'm trying to beat it. Is it. Anybody got, like, any ideas for braiding and beads? We'll talk about that later. You need but, to grow it out a bit more, Beetle, before you can beat well, it. I, I had it longer before, but the girlfriend was just like, Bring! Guys, guys. <laughs> Actually, it's almost time for uh, another drink here. You ain't devs, right? Um, no, you know, I play games. I don't develop them. I like to talk about systems and sociology and marketing. I, I can't play music. I can't draw. You should. Nixus should post his uh, his drawing because that stuff is wicked funny. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Anybody hasn't noticed Blank has been holding Ramus dearly this entire show. Listen, he's he very protective yeah. of his Ramus. <laughs> this, this is the only bad guy I have in my house. My daughter is like, "Yay, Mickey Mouse! Yay, Minnie Mouse!" She's like, "Ramus, no!" Oh! Throws him across the room. And some of the people that watch my stream are like, "Did she just chuck Ramus? She weighs like twenty pounds. She's throwing this thing around." <laughs> you got to keep the bad guy around. Got to keep him around. Any other questions that we might have missed recently that were off the top of the dome? I think I'll have to scroll up a little bit to catch some of them. Have a quick look. Will you lower the stream quality to 240p so I can count Beetle's beard pixels? I don't know what a beard pixel is, but it sounds awesome. Apparently your beard's got, beard's got some pixels. What do I use to wash my beard? And I'm assuming wash my beard and keep it strong as Zeus. Um, soap. <laughs> I actually use like this Oh, it's terrible. It's like Axe body wash, and it smells like like some sort of like chocolate. It was on clearance when I went into the store last, and I was just like, yeah, that's clearance. That's like a buck and a half. And then I mix it mostly with lightning and uh, then wash my beard. Um, I'm going to get to some of these questions here. Um, uh, Pick has his machine. Will you quest naked? Yes. I Sometimes. I quest shirtless, depending on uh, donations. Um, have they announced whether it's B2P or subscription? They have not yet, but look forward to that information being put out. There's a huge speculation thread out there that you can go uh, discuss. I think the quote was from them, whenever we announce it, what our pay model is, you will be happy. So, uh, oh, stuff. I wanted, I wanted to get to this one. Um, what's your opinion on instance housing being bad for the world communities? Uh, population being separated i think it will lead to fan sites that are created even wildstar may have a section wildstar central may have a section for it uh you know it'll be like sh shops or stores you know people advertising their plots and saying hey you can pm me in game ask me for access to my plot and you can come uh mine this ore on my plot for such and such currency or it, i think it'll just add a whole nother Aspect and possibly different fan sites. I think you get a bonus if you mine somebody else's ore. You know, they get the owner of the plot gets the ore, but then you get a bonus for doing so. Yeah, I can see it being a bad thing as well. In some ways, that maybe people will spend more time in a house than at other places. Hopefully, some items have to go to town to do. Yeah, I believe most most of the items you have to find out in the world, but it could. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I mean, still in development. Stuff like that. We don't even know how easy it is to let people into your house. You know, that kind of stuff. I mean, mine's just going to be a bunch of bars anyway and maybe a bed. Raid Next. portal. Oh, orange soda and vodka. Good man, Troy. Good man. Um, would you consider this game hardcore or casual? From what um, Jeremy Gaffney has said, they, from a couple different interviews, they're really trying to make the content challenging so aiming at a hardcore audience understanding that casual people will also want to play too um, it's very different from a lot of other MMOs that have come out where they've said we want everyone to play we want you know everyone to experience everything they're just like no we want this to be challenging 
We want it to be fun for how you want to play. And we're going to give you so many different opportunities and areas to really explore what they're building uh, from houses, um, your paths, uh, questing together, and I mean, building your house, making a war plot, doing arenas. I mean, the depth that's in this game is amazing. So, sorry, I'm catching up on chat here. Gaff here. The gaff is in the chat. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, uh -oh. it's the same thing I said at PAX. I said, you guys don't break my heart. We're totally going to do this. So, here we are. <laughs> no, a couple weeks Jeff, later, right? Now you just need to change Troy's background on his computer to uh, <laughs> unicorns. No, we always we always did something. Who's the Who's the German dude from Baywatch? Uh, Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff. Yeah, we always used to change it to Hasselhoff with the pug, and he was in a speedo, like laying down. Safe oh. for work still. It was um, awesome. Will we get Airwolf to make an original song for our intro? More than likely, it would be like, the Dominion stinks, the Dominion stinks, come be exiles, come be exiles. So we probably are not going to ask him to uh, draft up any songs for us. So, yeah, no. <laughs> if somebody else has got a song, we can always add it. I think it's, you know, exile stink. That is a cut. You guys like the song? Good, good. Um, I know that... um. Troy, or Ather, just left. Um, we do have five people that we picked out to get some uh, Wildstar swag from him. How we're going to get it to you, how that's going to happen, we don't know. But um, well, before we continue to talk here a little bit, um, Aegon, did you want to announce who those five um, people were? Um, well, we got more people here, so we're going to do it again. Yeah, that's a good idea. Are you coming to PAX Aus in July? I'm going to assume that's aimed towards us and perhaps maybe to um, the executive producer. Don't think they're going to Australia, though. I heard that they're not going to go that far. But have... Yeah, what were you saying, Roshi? I have Troy's email or an email address to contact Troy. People PM me, uh, and then I can get the details in touch with him. And guys, just because, um, you know, Carbine employees are here, try to focus your questions towards us as much as possible. We don't want to scare them away. They're very flighty unless you're handing them drinks, and they're not in person right now. So it, this is not the same, you know. They're scary. All right, we've got our five winners. All right. And the way we chose the winners here is we took people from chat and uh, randomized it. So we threw all your names to a randomizer, and first five people came up. This is Kable, um, Lucius, Roche, Evan Fox, Altros 99 and Divine Don. They are winners of. Te they are winners of a Wildstar T-shirt, and we'll figure out how they're going to get that to you. We're going to connect with uh, um, Troy via IRC. So um, congratulations, guys. That's really awesome. And a big thanks to uh, Carbine for, you know, we got our swag. Now we're going to hook you guys up. So that's really awesome. If we want to send me that list as well. Yeah, send right. that list to Roshi so we get their names. I'll put it in the document. Um, can you guys handle this for uh, a minute while I go, I go get another... Uh, Vodka and orange juice. Yeah, we can handle it. Yeah, we got it. it. Figured. Oh, Ramister, uh, he can handle it. Ramister will run the show. Does that, does that mean I can get one too, or am I not allowed to go? One at a time, you know, it's like being at school. Anyone could go to an alcohol. Girls party. always go in pairs, though. You think you're a girl? Well, no, I'm just saying we could. You know what? Let's move on. Any more questions? Stuff? All right, thanks for stopping by, Troy and uh, Jeremy. Appreciate that. Any other uh, little questions off the top of the dome? I can't freestyle any Biggie Smalls because he's dead. <laughs> Uh, 
What paths are you planning to play? Comics, what are you thinking about? Uh, right now, until you know, until they reveal the really other two, right now I'm leaning towards Spellslinger. What Pass about uh, explorer, soldier, about... scientist, and um, settler? I really don't know yet. I want to see what the, how they how they go first, but mostly I think it's probably going to be a warrior and explorer type. Yeah, I love the whole yeah, the whole gunslinger thing. So yeah, it's going to be Thursdays at ten when we go live. It happens to be the good best time for most of us. So what are we answering? Uh, uh, what path path you play? Play? Soldier, oh, really? I, I can grind for days and days, so it's going to be soldier. I actually don't know yet. I'm leaning towards... Ex, uh, not ex, What's the other one? Scientist? And then there's... What's the uh, guy with the hammer? Settler. S yeah, Settler. I think I like that one the best. I mean, being able to go to certain outposts and upgrade them while you guys are out there and shit. Good stuff. Uh, I'm sorry. Really? <laughs> it, it, yeah. <laughs> Job's done. Work, work. Maybe the scientist for me. Work, work. You know, collect that law and find out the information in the game. Sorry, guys. Any announcements on with different bonuses, experience bonuses, or raid bonuses? I think I don't know about raid bonuses or experience bonuses. I know they'll have their own specific types of bonuses, like the soldier. You'll be able to farm certain areas. Explorer may get you to a certain spot where you can mine stuff, but I don't. I would think experience bonuses and raid bonuses would be either linked to war parties or guilds. But is there, speculation. There is, from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, there is kind of a bonus from doing things together, and we, I'm I'm excited to see kind of how that works out. Like I'm a soldier, and let's say I hang out with an explorer, and all of a sudden, the Explorer opens something out, and then maybe we're able to do something together and get more XP. So maybe you want to have you know, each type in a party, if possible, to group up. Um, I remember hearing something about that. So if that is indeed how things happen, I think that's really awesome. I think you're right, the blank. I heard something along the lines of, like, if the Explorer opens up a passage, then maybe as a scientist or warrior, you can get your objective quicker. Um, and the same, like the warrior, if they go out and claim a territory, I think other people can have like Settler and interact with that. I think each path, while you can play on its own, if you play in a group, then you open up more possibilities and get access to more content. And 8-Bit just said it, right. And I'm not picking my nose. Um, he is. That is one of the things that's really exciting about the game, is that it's not just enforcing, but it leads to doing groups together. It's not it, really enforcing, to, it's encouraging. Yeah, like, hey, you can, you know, you can soldier on, you can just grind on those mobs, you can do your stuff, or, hey, your buddy's online, hey man, guess what, I just found this random out-of-the-way thing, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, cool, this is speculation, I'm hoping that it works like this, like, oh, hey, look, now we can do this cool thing together in this place that you found. I just, there's so many possibilities, it just sounds really exciting. Um, can a soldier open stuff really past two years so often when Explorer found X, Y? Well, I think what will happen is Explorer may open the path and then see a soldier node there. Um, but uh, I think we're actually, I think we're going to move on here uh, from our question spot here and uh, push towards our last kind of announcement. Uh, Aroshi, if you want to plug this, uh, sure. this should be a fun thing. Yeah, our last announcement is um, we're going to be holding a 24-hour gaming marathon in May on the 18th. The idea for that is we're going to play in some, a group of multiplayer free-to-play games. Everyone's encouraged to come and join us, and we'll be raising money for Child's Play. If you've not heard about Child's Play, it's a charity who buys gaming equipment for children's hospitals. So while the child is sick in a ward, they may have an Xbox or PlayStation, an iPad or something like that to play games on. And it's, it's great for the parents. It gives the parents a chance to relax and enjoy themselves. And all the money raised, this goes directly to Child's Play. And they put every penny they can or every cent they can into the equipment. They're not profit-making at all. They don't pay the wages out of it either. So that's what we're doing the 18th of May. So come and play with us. Come and take part. 
if you're a guild or a fan site, we will be taking extra donations to give you a shout out. Nothing's for free. Um, but more details are going up about that shortly on places like Wildstar Central as well as their own website. Yeah, and our and our plan for that is um, it's going to be 24 hours. We're going to break it into probably probably around four four to six hour increments where we'll say what game we'll be playing and we'll have several streams up for it. And we're going to try to pick majority games that a lot of people have, but more along the lines of most likely free to play games like Team Fortress Two. Um, other shooters that a lot of people have, uh, maybe Dota or League. And what we really want is uh, for people to get in and play with us, this community, and stuff like that. We obviously won't be playing Wildstar for it, but it'll be a good way for the uh, Wildstar community to play together and shoot blank and Team Fortress because he's a baddie. So listen, that's not, you know, that was back in high school I played those games. Now I like to hit my little macros, my little shift control. Much easier, much, much easier. Yeah, and we may uh, – a good idea might actually be to put a poll up somewhere um, to see what people would like to play with us, um, stuff like that. But that's just – yeah, May 18th, we're going to be doing a Child's Play event, Marathon. Should be a lot of fun. Sounds Details good. will be out this weekend. Yeah, so um, I believe it says our – yeah, it has our uh, information for our website. A lot of you that are here, um, especially from Wildstar Central, you have our Twitter. Uh, we're really active in the community, so you can, you know, catch up with us. We'd love to have more people come on the show, and, you know, we do have plenty of spots for guests. It's going to be a weekly uh, vodcast. Thank you guys for showing up. Uh, it's been fun. Uh, I think everybody here it was really excited to put this together, uh, keeping it under our hats, you know, being like, oh, is anyone done one yet? We don't think so. Oh, this would be really cool. All right, all right. Okay, and Twitter bomb. Boom, and here you go. Here we go. Come join us. So we're glad you guys showed up. Um, it was a lot of fun, and we will see you guys live again next week. Anything we, you guys uh, want to say? We do have a Facebook page. Uh, Nixus or Roshi could plug that. Uh, we will add more info to the bombs Twitch. I'd like to say a big thank you to a lot of you usernames that I see from Wildstar Central. Uh, Thanks for coming out here, guys. You guys are a big part of this stream base. If anybody hasn't signed up on Wildstar Central, head over there. Uh, big up to you guys. And Wildstar Wiki. I see you. Go whatever. What do you do for Wildstar Wiki? Do you follow those? <laughs> do stuff with it. Do stuff with it. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, follow, do all that fun stuff. Um, we're glad you all showed up to join us. And uh, we will be ne 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 back next week. Same bad time, same bad channel, Thursday at 10. Hope to have you all again. Sounds great. Thank you guys for stopping by. Y'all have a great night. Bye. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye.